Here is a 1985 Pearson 43 motor yacht called Surprise Squared. This boat over the last five years has had ongoing refits, rewiring, new paint job, new varnish work, new enclosure for the flybridge, new wet bar on the flybridge. In short, this boat is just in an absolutely pristine condition. Ready for you to go do the ICW, the Great Loop. Use it as a liveaboard or just as your family entertainment as a weekend condo on the water. She's a beautiful boat. I'm gonna head down below, or head aboard I should say, and then down into the engine room. She's powered by two Perkins diesels, 200 a horse, and has a 12kW cola generator. And I'll go aboard take a look at the engine room. Now looking into the engine room. 200 horse Perkins diesels. Currently looking at the port engine. And then after that with midships and the house batteries. And then amidships is a 12V cola generator. Everything works in excellent condition. Engines have about 1,200 hours on them, something in that neighborhood. I'll move over to the starboard engine. And again, everything is just well maintained, well looked after. And as you can probably tell, there is just a ton of room down here for maintenance. You don't have to be a contortionist to get around and take care of things down here. Very nicely laid out. Okay, that was the engine room. Down below the after deck here. And we'll take a walk up forward. Nice wide walkways. And you have elbow room. As you can see from the woodwork, everything is in very nice shape. Way along, even the side doors. Everything very well maintained. Get up into the bow. Windless foot pedals. The anchor, the bow pulpit. Privacy covers the forward windshields. Searchlights, horns, and up to the newly covered flybridge. We head back aft. We'll head up to the flybridge. Take a look at everything that's been done up there just in the past year. So here we are on the flybridge. Boat davit, the dinghy. Nice seating back aft. Brand new enclosure area around the radar arch. And forward, new wet bar. There's a refrigerator, a sink, plenty of storage up here. If you move forward, the mate's chair, captain's chair behind the helm, more storage on the starboard side, and looking back aft. Brand new Garmin GPS and chart plotter, VHF, brick holders. Move forward here just to open this up. To the control panel on the bridge. To the controls, port and starboard engines. Nice little chart, shelf I guess you'd call that, and then looking forward, wonderful visibility from up here, for both leaving and entering your dock. 
and we'll go down below and take a look at the cabin area. Okay, as you'll see, there are multiple entranceways. The master cabin can be accessed from the after deck here or from either the port and starboard doors up forward by the lower helm. Here's the master cabin. Nice wide double bed. Very comfortable. And over on the starboard side, nice chest of drawers, plenty of storage space and plenty of elbow room. And a closet space. As you move forward, you can see the length of the boat internally here. To port, we have the master head, which consists not just of a shower, but also a bathtub as well. Nice and clean. And off to starboard. Brand new refrigerator. Dishwasher. Sink. Tool coffee makers. Plenty of storage for cans and boxes and nice long galley L-shaped counter and then off on the port side an L-shaped settee couch even more storage really nice lighting on the inside of the boat Beautiful teak holly floors throughout the boat. Just see those gleam. And as we move forward, there are two seats for sitting at the bar or counter, as the case may be. And to the lower helm, controls again for port and starboard. And while the boat will probably most likely be run most of the time from the flying bridge, there's just wonderful visibility from here, forward of the bow, and to port and starboard. Let's take a look at the area below the main cabin. Here we are looking underneath the main salon, the battery packs, inverter, and you'll notice how well all the new wiring has been laid out. Everything is just well labeled, well marked. And if you should ever need room for expansion, you've just got a huge amount of room down in here. If you ever want to add more equipment to this boat that is already well equipped. Air conditioning units, aft and mid. Plenty of room right under the main cabin sole. So let's go back up into the main cabin and look at the forward quarters. The port is the control panel. And you go down below to the forward stateroom. Which again has a nice sized bed in it. Completely redone boarding. All of the TV, flat screen TV. And a nice little seating area. And then after this area, a great little section down in here, port and starboard bunks. Plenty of lighting down in here. Nice portholes for ventilation. And again, just plenty of room throughout this vessel. Sleeping six comfortably and probably more if you needed to. This vessel is offered for sale by Rudders and Moorings Yacht Sales. The listing broker is Larry Rutter and you can contact Larry at area code 401-338-3554 or by email at LarryRutter at RuddersandMoorings.com and look forward to meeting with you and taking you on a tour of this beautiful boat. And thank you very much for watching the video.